Прогнозируй, прогнозируй, прогнозируй. I was going to do a demo of an old Casio CZ5000 running through the uh, the Erebus filter, but the Casio CZ5000 um, wouldn't power up because I was very curious how the digital uh, oscillators would sound running through the Erebus, but um, no luck. Um, getting it turned on. So, I dug up my Casio CZ-1 and uh, as I was looking on YouTube I realized there aren't really any good um, demos of most of the presets. There is one, there's a little noise in the background, so what I'm going to do is run through a demo of the CZ-1 but um, just listening to some of the sounds that are presets in fact, it's about an equal mix of presets and stuff that I've altered. So you can get an idea for the Casio CZ-1. And under full disclosure, I have to admit, my first synthesizer that I ever bought, paid money for, um, was a Casio CZ-1000. Learned a lot about keyboards and programming just from the Casio CZ-1000. It died sometime in the early 2000s, I think. Fortunately, eBay offered me a couple options. I did buy a CZ5000. As I've just indicated, as of today, it appears it died. Uh, at least the power for it. Um, and the CZ1000, or the, the CZ1, and the CZ1, which fortunately I was able to buy here in Germany from a uh, person, is still working. So we're going to run through, I guess, approximately 64 presets and program sounds that I loaded into the keyboard. That's the problem with the CZ-1, is there are no presets and user patches to save. All 64 patches can be saved from the user. That means you have to delete or overwrite some of the presets. So anyway, here we go.
Bye-bye. <laughs>